Greetings there, it's David Duford again from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com and today we're going to talk about the wonderful world of final expense contracts and we're going to kind of take the perspective of a new agent and kind of give you some information about how contracting works with final expense, what to be careful about, what to be wary of, and kind of give you some information to make apples to apples comparisons about what's out there in the final expense business and what you're being offered. So the way final expense contracting works is generally speaking, you as an independent life insurance agent or captive contracts with either one company, that would be in a captive situation, or with a multitude of companies or whomever you please as an independent agent. You as the agent don't actually work for the insurance company and in most cases you don't even work for the insurance agency. You're what's known as a 1099 employee. That's the IRS code for basically an independent contractor. You're not an employee. You work for yourself. You're a small business owner. But you have contractual relationships through that agency to the actual insurance carrier to where you submit business in a way that the manner they want to and you follow their rules and bylaws and so on. So as far as the contracts work themselves, you know, a lot of people think they can contract direct with the company. Few companies do that nowadays, but what's happened in most of the final expense business is that there's been an expansion of a middleman type of operation where you have agencies, marketing organizations that basically shield the company from chargeback risk or debt risk that rolls up from bad agents who don't pay back any kind of debt that they may accumulate. But it allows for the training and the sales side to be controlled by the agency and then the insurance company just to control the insurance product knowledge and implementation. This is what they're good at. Insurance companies are notoriously bad for sales. Um, they would rather outsource it to a group like mine. We know how to get things done, and then we let them design the product so that we can sell them. Now, a lot of um, people are probably viewing this video because they want to know more about how contracting works and commission levels work with contracts. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Most of what you'll find out there in the marketplace is that if you come in and you have no proof of production, you don't want any support, you just want a contract, you can actually get a contract with an agency for a carrier or for a group of carriers, typically at a street level contract as we call it. It ranges from 105 to 115% on average. Depends on the carrier, depends on what the agency offers you as well. But typically, like I said, those street level contracts or final expense don't actually provide you any sort of benefits or support or training. In most cases, it's just a placeholder and you're thrown to the wolves, you're on your own. Okay, Most people want to get to that point, I certainly would want to, but in the beginning, if you're brand new to this business, it's important to start the business off giving up some of that commission in exchange for training, support, access to a lead and duplicatable marketing and sales program. Most people who think and value training can see the benefit of that, You know, maybe giving up a few points in the beginning so that they can learn and duplicate that process to eventually get to a street level commission. It's kind of what I do in the mentorship program. I think you got to pay your dues. This concept I believe in. And so I start my guys off on a lesser contract, but move them up to the street level contracts and above street in some circumstances. Once they perform, once they learn the system, and once they are fully competent and independent. Now the last thing I want to mention here is kind of somewhat sort of related and it's related to the release policy that final expense carriers have. This is important. You may not expect or even think about asking this, but it's good to just talk about. So in most circumstances, if you contract with an agency for a company, let's just say Mutual of Omaha, for lack of a better one, um, your immediate agency above you, the guy that recruited you, if you don't have a good experience there, if they piss you off, they don't provide what they promised you, and you try to move that company contract to another agency that's going to give you a better deal, what you will find is that that agency above you will hold you hostage nine out of ten times. They will not release you, as the industry term goes, to move that contract over. In most circumstances, you have to wait six months or sometimes even longer to actually move that contract over, and then sometimes you have to have uh, no outstanding chargeback debt that's uncovered. So what this means is that uh, a lot of agencies have control problems. You know, if you're not going to sell for them, too bad. They're going to shut you down. They're going to screw you over. It's, it's a real shame. 
And so with me and the way my final expense agent mentorship program works, the way I do releases, once you're done with the mentorship program, you do your quota, you're welcome to get released at any time. Uh, I think it's, it's stupid the way that agencies do business in the final expense business. You know, they should want this person to want them as a value added component to their final expense business. And I don't think it's fair, nor is it really, I don't know, even ethical to force somebody to do business with you under the circumstance that, hey, this is the way it goes. You know, for me, the way I do it, I offer releases not because I want to release my agents, but because it's the fair thing to do. Because I want there to be an equal amount of mutual respect and value between both my agent and myself. And, uh, you know, hey, that's the way it should work in my opinion, and that's the only way I'd want it to work. So, in this video we kind of spanned a lot of things, talking about how contracting works, how commission levels work, and how releases work. Lots of information, this is pretty important stuff, and this is all the kind of things I talk about with all my final expense recruits that I bring on, because it's so important to understand all that there is about this business, not just on the sales side, but on the internal side and how it affects your career, not just in the short run, but the wrong, long run as well. My name is David Duford from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. Check my videos out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up and leave messages. Let me interact with you. And if you got any questions about the program, go to my website, feagentmentor.com, and check it out. And thank you so much for listening. Take care.